So, I know. I think that first half for me is probably the best half of football we've played and the chances we created. I, mean, I counted numerous chance saves for the goalkeeper. Mm. Obviously, we hit the woodwork a couple of times. We had that, for me, was an open goal. Uh, didn't take it. What can you do? I mean, like they go to the other end and score. I, 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 don't, I don't really have any answers, Tim. I've just said it there. You know, unfortunately, one of our players was absolutely electric in the first half today and, and he did everything right. He got people off the feet. He made people, you know, chant. He made people sing. But he couldn't just execute that, that kind of last chance. And, and unfortunately, it fell to him. You know, every time and the more... You kind of miss one, you try harder the next time, you try harder the next time, you try harder the next time. And, you know, we had, what, four or five really good chances first half. And if you don't take them, you know, you you, you don't win football games. And, and I'm certainly not going to stand here and, and call anybody because the person who we've talked about, you know, we'll go back to it, was, was absolutely tantalising tonight. The only other thing he didn't bring to his game was goals, but... I think you can see, we, you know, we, when he plays like that, we've got one of the best wingers in the league. And you can see that, that's what we offer going forward. That's the way we play. It wasn't to be. We switch off on a corner. They score and, you know, that's the game done. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the frustration of, uh, obviously, once across the white line, you always say, basically, you can't micromanage the players. They've got to do what they've got to do. Um, you know, but for anybody who wasn't here, basically, it was a superb half. And, you know, we're for me basically by far the better side you know and it was just I think there's sort of like I chatted to a few fans around at, at half time and it was like how are we even losing never mind you know we, we were exceptional we were absolutely yeah. exceptional and, and I'm so proud and you know you talk about the results and you know it, it's it's difficult isn't it because unless you're here like you say you, you don't see the way we play some people will just look at the result and go oh FC have lost and you know we're on the, we're on the wrong side of it tonight and you've got to congratulate Hyde and Nicky and Gav, they'll be smart enough to Saturday, you know, a bit of a freak result, come back back from 3-0 down, and some people may say you didn't deserve it, but football lasts for 90, 90 plus minutes, and it did Saturday, and we deserved our chance to come here tonight. We should have been out of sight, we should have been, and we wasn't, and Hyde took the chance when it arrived, and then I thought the change that they made second half to pretty much sit in, you know, and I know they had a couple of breakaway chances, especially towards the end, when we kind of sacrificed every man and his dog going forward. But, you know, they, they sat in and, and they managed the game and uh, a couple of things that they didn't do right on Saturday, they did right tonight. You know, they ran the ball in the corner with four or five minutes to go. They, you know, a couple of times they, they put, you know, Nicky's heart in his mouth by not making the right decision. But you can be known that as managers that people don't make the right decisions. But, you know, for my side or our side, we're, we're playing free-flowing attacking football. We're creating chances. We look defensively solid. Um, and I can all be proud of the lads, you know, and, and whether or not, you know, people see that, that that's up to them. But that, that dressing room, my dressing room, is really hurting at the minute, and, you know, they're devastated because they've left everything and more out on the football pitch tonight. And sometimes you don't get what you deserve. You know, Hyde didn't get it Saturday. We haven't got it tonight. But you've, got, you've still got to congratulate the, uh, the team that wins, and that's Hyde, and wish them all the best in the next round. And we've got to refocus ourselves get in for training and get ready for you know back-to-back -back fixtures now in Baseford, Rylands, Blythe and I think Macclesfield so you know it doesn't come don't come any easy but all can say to if we play like that we'll, we'll be okay you know like you said but we'll be okay. Yeah I mean we just seem to come straight it was so like full time and just happened and we just restarted straight away because you know the forward play was dynamic the balls were coming into the wing uh you know there was so many sort of like interplays in and around the box and you could see sort of Hydra on the heels the keeper was kept really busy um it just felt about sort of 60 minutes there was a little bit of energy dropped out of the team um do you think that was just the, the in intensity of the exertion I think, the previous it, hour? I think it's mentality again I think as footballers you, you question at times in a game I've been there out on the pitch how are you not winning you know, they, they come and put in a, what they call a low block to a mid block and you can't break them down and, and you start thinking, oh, we're not winning and, you know, kind of like, you know, people are trying to work different things out and people are putting it in the box and we're trying to pay, play the passes forward to get Jay going and Dante going, but that's where you've got to credit the opposition. They just, they kind of sniffed out the space tonight and stopped us from doing it. You know, they, they got they got an absolute roasting in the fullback area in the first half and they've thought we can't have that again for another 90 minutes so you know they changed it and you've got to credit them for changing it but I think that's what it is I think we I think not mentally because I thought mentally we were very strong especially coming back after 
Saturday, but but we, we just maybe lost the, the kind of rhythm and a focus, and that's why we had to make the changes. You know, we had a lot of tired bodies out there. Don't say towards the end, you know, holding his hamstring again. Um, now for the now for the Fondra left everything out on the pitch, and you know we, we would have been lucky to get through another ninety. But the subs that, that came on, you know, they, they did what they could do, and unfortunately, after the corner after the corner, and you know some of the pop shop efforts, we just couldn't we couldn't get the equaliser, and you know. That's football. That's that's football. It's hard as a as a manager. It's hard as players. It's hard as as fans. That sometimes you, you feel that you don't get what you deserve. But what can we do? You can't feel sorry for yourself. You can't. You've got to look your wounds. Like I said, you've got to you've got to get on with it. And we've got to stay positive. Stay really positive. And and the people that were here tonight will know that we've given a really good positive account of ourselves. And you know we've played some of the top sides now in Ashton, in Workshop, in Hyde. I think every one of them sides will say that FC United are a bad side and you know they'll, they'll take points off people. What we've got to do is start doing it soon. Yeah, I mean, like I said uh, just earlier, you know, we're running sort of four games in very quick succession. You know, we carry that first half performance straight through. Um, you know, I think we're, you know, we should be in a good position. That's how we play. Did they always execute the way we play? No, but that's that's the the pieces of the jigsaw. Sometimes you struggle to put together because that's their decision. You know, at times, and it's hard when you come against sides who are good sides. But all we can do, and all we'll continue to do, is try and play the right way. Try and play a free-flowing, fast, attacking, passing football. Get us in the final third, creating chances. And another day, like Saturday, we score three. Today, we scored none. Uh, but the word's ruthless, isn't it? It's got to be ruthless. We've got to be, you know, really, really kind of not selfish in the final third, but. Kind of selfish in the way that we're going to put teams to a sore when we're on top of them, and and that's not that player that missed the chances tonight. That, that goes right throughout the start from the start of the season. We've created a raft of opportunities, and you know, not like last season where we were maybe just maybe creating a one or two. We're creating four, five, six really good match-winning chances every game, and and uh, we're just not taking them. Tim, but that's there's still a lot to be positive about for me and the dressing room. And um, our job is to pick them back up now and and show them and make them believe that we are a good side and we can take points and we will score goals and we will finish where we want to finish the season. Yeah, OK, so uh, obviously a couple of days training Thursday and then Baseford Saturday at home. Yeah, uh, and again, if you bring the noise that you brought tonight, you know, travelling fans were excellent, bring the noise that you brought Saturday. But it's our job as well, as management team, as players, to get you off your seat, to give you something to shout about and... I think we've done that. I think you can see that the lads are trying their utmost to do that. At times when you can see them feeling a little bit lull at the moment, feel a bit flat, we need you again, we need you again. And, and our fans are the best at doing it. You know, So we'll turn up positive on Saturday, looking forward to entertaining Baseford and hopefully getting the three points. And you know, I'll finish the interview by saying, you know, thanks for everyone that travelled tonight, Tim. Good luck to Hyde. Well done. Two great games against us. Uh, and then already this season. And we've got to move on. So training Thursday, and then uh, we'll see everyone at Broadus Park on Saturday.